So season four of the finals is dropping on the 26th and something that Thixie brought up in the video was the atmosphere or really just like the overall game show vibe of the game. I hate that word now, but it applies. And just how the atmosphere of the game can move back to where it originally was. Like it was pretty consistent from the betas to season one, but then in season two, it had the whole CNS hacker theme and I didn't dislike it. I think it would have worked better if it came maybe a little bit later if they were to work with the lore a little bit more as far as making more people aware that it's there in the first place. And I'll touch on that more later. But then like in season three, it just felt like Feudal Japan was the focus and then the whole game show aspect of the game was in the background where they really should have been like swapped around. And then with season four in the teaser trailer, which is literally all I have to go off of, at the end the announcer shouts, it's showtime. And on top of that, the music just sounded very the finals-esque and it was just very unserious and that that's kind of like the vibe that the game used to have and it's good because a lot of people seem to think that the finals wanted to be an esport out the gate because of like the crowds and then june and scotty and like the announcer voice too i remember seeing that as a criticism like in tiktoks when the game first had a, a player base drop and like an article drop and people were like oh my gosh the game is dead that, that whole thing and i was like on the one hand, does that really matter? But on the other hand, I'm like, I kind of see what you're saying, but I also just like disregarded it. Cause I did think it was, I thought they did mean it in the esports kind of way at first too, but I was like, I don't really care. The game is just fun, it's whatever. But even then, June and Scotty making fun of each other, that needs to continue. That's always been my favorite part about those two. And I know they add more lines over time. Like maybe if you're on the horizon map, the CNS person, the one that was speaking in the trailers for all of like three seconds, Maybe they bring him in and he like interrupts June and Scotty every once in a while. Not too much because I can get repetitive really fast, but it could be a, a way to put another character in there, I guess, since June and Scotty are the only actual characters we have, since all the contestants is just essentially supposed to be us running around as Mr. Put It On or just abysmal mashups, whichever you want to be. But yeah, the CNS guy, he said like, we're here to change the game in a trailer. And that's pretty much all I remember about him. And there was a different trailer where I, I I think I heard like the arena being broken into or something like that. So the CNS announcer could work with that as well. For season three, I, I don't know. There's not really much as, in that way. Uh, they could talk about the map itself, I guess, but that's really the best I got. If you got better, just comment it. Also leave a like, you headed down there anyway. But that really just speaks to like the main problem with season three, besides terminal attack was just the theme of the season overtaking the vibe of the finals in general. And is it the most important thing about the game ever? No. If the gunplay wasn't any good, if the maps didn't work with the destruction well, or if the gameplay just wasn't fun in general, probably would have never made a video about the game in the first place. But I do think it's still important. Like Apex, I got the characters, I got the stories from the Outlands, the videos and stuff. Overwatch and Valorant have similar things going on to varying degrees. I don't really know about Overwatch, but I know the cutscenes is kind of hard, at least the ones I've seen. It's really like a, a separation point, especially for Valorant, because Valorant is really just CS with a different art style and ability. So if they didn't put real personality into that game, then it probably wouldn't have gained an audience the way it did. But with the finals, it's kind of the opposite because it didn't have like a very direct competitor, like X to Vine to Cod or CS to Val or Overwatch to Battleborn when that game was a thing. But in my opinion, that's even more reason to go try hard on just building up the atmosphere of the game and giving it real personality. All based off my overanalyzation of a teaser trailer. And they made it pretty clear they want to do this too by bringing in the sponsors, Izul, T, Enjimo, and Alto with Mr. Blackman. That's the three for this season. And there's a bunch of others too, like Ospoos, Volpe, Vaya, Daisun, or Dyson, and Kometa. Now I'd imagine the community events will be like, per sponsor so like which whichever sponsor does the most of x y or z gets a reward maybe it'll be like a first second and third place type of thing and then they'll i think it's going to rotate every season as for the lore of the game if they wanted to make like extra cutscenes, they have the whole announcement tab in like the top right when you're in the lobby screen so it'd be pretty easy to promote it if not just having june and scotty say more stuff that's beyond just like what's going on in the game you're playing that's always a, a way to do it and not like they gotta break down every single thing because it'll defeat the purpose of it being lower in the first place but make it more prevalent for people that might be interested in it because most people don't even know it existed in the first place anyways that's just one of the good changes i think they made for season four for the rest of them is this video right here i'm gonna try and drop again once another trailer drops and just throughout season four in general so subscribe to the channel you can click this video bye Bye. Bye.